So, you know that Touch Bar on MacBook Pros that most of us don't end up using and is pretty much a waste of space at times? Well, how would you like to know that you can actually hack the Touch Bar and access features that you didn't think was possible? I'm gonna show you how you can customize the touch bar and how you can speed up your workflow using an app called Command Post. Also, if you don't have a touch bar, you can always use the virtual touch bar. Let's check it out. So I've created my own functions and shortcuts that are accessible in the touch bar, and you can also create customized icons to go with it. So I'm gonna show you my layout. The first one that I have is LUT. So if I click on LUT, you can see that it grabs, goes to the effects panel, grabs the LUT, and applies a custom LUT up in my inspector. My next one is layer. Layer is going to actually add an adjustment layer. So here it's selected and created an adjustment layer right up here. I'm gonna deselect that. And then my third one is horizon. Now this one actually sets my crosshairs and my um, horizon level so that I can make sure that everything is lined up perfectly. Before, I'd have to come up here to the view drop down, click this, go over here to show horizon, and then it would show that. Well now I can just click a button and toggle that on and off, which is amazing. And the next thing that I did is I created four different workspaces that I use the most on this MacBook Pro. So my first one is color grading, which you can see this layout right here. Second one is going to be editing. So here I can do a lot of my editing. Then I have my organization workspace. And then my last one is my multicam. So if I'm here and you can see that I have a multicam underneath this clip right here, that it'll show my top three camera angles so that I can use that and choose how I want to cut my multicams in my timeline. But I can just select and go back to color grading because now I'm ready to color grade. So I made those into custom workspaces. If you go up to window, workspaces, they're all right here. And then you can access them in command post. Also, what's really great about Command Post is if you wanna have more settings, you can actually click this little icon right here. And this is the Command Post icon. When you click it, it changes between different banks. So now I'm in my second bank. And I can select this clip right here, and this bank I've set to be my position. I can actually go and change my transform, and I can go up and down, just by tapping that. And I can go to the side, and I can go back, and I actually have that go in five pixel increments. And that's how I can lay it out. If I have a whole letterbox project and I wanna go ahead and edit my clips so that they're lined up with the letterbox with enough space on each side, I can just go ahead and change my Y position. Before, you'd have to come up here, select it, and then drag your, your mouse up and down and then go to the next one, click it, and then do it that way. Well, now I can just go ahead and just select this. And with my left hand, I can adjust it, go to the next one, and I can adjust that one as well and cycle through and toggle that, which is really cool. Also, I have this last one that's called uh, Spatial Conform and I set that to fill. So if you go over here to the inspector, you can see that this clip I have selected and I can go ahead and click here and change my Spatial Conform from Fit to Fill. I love that function whenever I'm editing for an Instagram edit and I can make sure that all my clips automatically get changed to fill instead of fit by default. Now most of these functions can be set with a shortcut, but I like that you can actually have a visual representation of those different functions that you can click, but some you don't have access with a shortcut, like Horizon, because like I said up here, there is no shortcut that's set for Show Horizon, so I needed to use Command Post to access that custom feature. And that also goes for the Transform Position area. Right now we can't access that without just clicking it, and now I can just change my bank and then just adjust that individual clip. All right, let me show you you can start using the touch bar with Command Post. So to get started, we wanna go ahead and download Command Post. So if you go to commandpost.io and you click on the download tab, little button right there, then you can actually download the app there and it'll save to your downloads folder. Once you uh, go ahead and download it, you can install it and then it will actually install a little icon up here. It's a little satellite icon and this is where you access um, Command Post and this is running at the same time that Final Cut Pro X is. So it's running in the background. Just click on preferences and here you will see all the different touch bar options that you have. And you can actually enable customized touch bar. This is where you enable your virtual touch bar. So navigate back over here and you can see that I actually have it right at this bottom, I can access all of these functions. So people that do not have touch bar, here you go. You get the virtual touch bar and you can go ahead and play with that if you need to. 
All right, here is our touch bar and we're on this first bank and the touch bar tab. And what we go ahead and do is right here, as I just went to select, I wanted to search for LUT. And here it's custom LUT and I just select that and then you click on here and you can access the icons. What's really cool is Command Post comes with all these different icons that you can search through and adjust and use for the touch bar which is really convenient. And then if you do not label this field and you leave it empty like here, then it will only show the icon, which is really great if you need to access some uh, more space on the touch bar. After that, I just go ahead and go into the second bank and I can set my options there. And here you can also select the different, I have the Y position that shifts down by five pixels and I set it up with an arrow. Also, I labeled uh, this overall um, bank to be called position. So whenever I cycle through um, the different options, you can see that I have them laid out right there with the word position that takes up that first space. So once you create your own settings, just navigate back to Final Cut Pro X and they're gonna be reflected on the touch bar so that you have access to all those shortcuts and functions that you didn't have before. So if you have a MacBook Pro with a touch bar and you wanna make it useful, then go ahead and download Command Post and give it a shot. The app is actually free. That's right, free. So go ahead and download it, give it a shot. If you like it and it's useful, then go ahead and also donate to the developers because they've been creating some awesome updates for the community based on the needs and what people are actually requesting. If you want to see me review anything else about Final Cut Pro X or Command Post, hit me up in the comments and I'll do my best to make some more films with your requests. Well, I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you found it useful and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss another film. My name is Kaylin from White & Reverie. Thanks for watching.